In real life, material accelerated at higher speeds and exposed to rain conditions are degraded due to repeated impact of water droplets. This effect is very common in the leading edge of wind turbines or in airplane wings. The erosion of the leading edge of wind turbines blades reduces blade aerodynamic efficiency and power output. In order to extend materials life in real conditions, the Thermal Spray Center in the University of Barcelona has developed the jet erosion test. This test measures the resistance of any material to repeated water impact. The jet erosion equipment consists of a close protective recipient where the arm, sample holder and the jets are found. The speed of rotation, the jet pressure and the rotation time can be controlled. The speed rotation can be set from 15 km per hour up to 350 km per hour. This test is much harsher than the rain erosion test, although the physical principles are the same. Therefore, lower speeds compared to the rain erosion test lead to catastrophic erosion damage. The evaluation of the performance of the tested materials is of a special relevance. Before the test, the mass of the tested sample is measured and a micrograph of the surface is taken. The samples are weighted and surface inspection is carried out at regular steps. These control measurements are also used to reveal the failure mechanisms of the different tested materials. The time of material failure is considered when an evident mass loss takes place or a considerable area is damaged. The repeated impact of jets onto a surface is a fatigue phenomenon of the coating and the substrate as a whole system. Therefore, this test can be viewed as an accelerated life test of the system and not only the coating material. The simulation by finite elements modeling of the stresses into the coating and the substrate gives us valuable information to understand the failure mechanisms. The jet erosion test is a comprehensible test that allows us to determine the resistance to water jet erosion of different coating materials but also of the combination of coating and substrate material as a whole.